Welcome to Tech Brother with Ahmed. Today we are going to learn how to create fix with uh, text file from SQL Server table and we will add date time to it after that. Uh, first of all, we have to have some data for in SQL Server table according to our requirement. So we have test database and I have created one of the table with few of the records. We can create a, a select query and see how many records we have. okay so in this uh, table I have four records all right so this is our query that's what we are going to use in our SSIS package all right let's go back and open our SSDT or bids whatever we have according to version of C SSIS installed okay so once uh, your SSDT or bids open if uh, you, you don't have a SSIS project already created, you can go ahead and create one. If you have already, you can open one. So I have one already, so I'm going to open it. All right, okay. Now our project is opened and we have to create a new SSIS package. Okay, right click on SSIS packages, go to new SSIS package a new pa package is created with the name package three rename this one so we can rename this one as a fix with file okay now to read the data from a sql server table and write the data to the text file we need the data flow task inside the data flow task we need to use the um, source the source will be oladb source so go to sources okay and uh, drag oladb source to the data flow pan okay open it make a connection if uh, uh, i had been using this can you know uh, connection already in different packages that's why it's pop up uh, i can delete it and recreate it okay so you can click here uh, you can always write the na name, <coughs> excuse me, of SQL Server here instead of um, clicking on the drop down. Drop down some time, time take a whole lot of time. You know, if you have a lot of servers on the network, so you know, in my case, I don't have it, so I, you know, I just click it. But writing name is much easier sometimes. You know, uh, instead of clicking here. So test connection. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. And now we have to use our query that we have written the select query to extract the data so okay we are going to use that query copy the query from your ss uh, ssms always run your query and <clears throat> make sure it is working so you can go back and test your query you know uh, just don't write it query and bring it here and uh, you will keep getting error you cannot really debug here you know um, otherwise uh, uh, it's a wastage of time you know and uh, if you want to even go query builder and click here and uh, um, you can build your query here you know from the table and all but I recommend going to SSMS and uh, write your query and uh, you know test it there and then uh, you know bring it here all right go to click columns click here all the columns are coming correctly I didn't do any renaming or anything I can do it I can write case statements or if I have to join data from multiple tables I can uh, use uh, everything here in the query and uh, that that should determine the results what uh, are required results click OK so the next part is bring the uh, flat file destination all right okay click here and now create a new connection so in this case what we are going to do we are going to use ragged right the columns are defined by fix width except the last one which is delimited by the new line character so that's that's what we are going to use to create the fix width file hit ok all right so now it is asking us where do you want to create the file so browse and I know on my desktop I have a folder called output folder so that's where I want to create the file what name uh, I want to give to the file I right now I can use fix with underscore customer okay and the the, and the extension it is asking you do you want CSV or uh, you want txt I'm fine with the txt you know okay now um, 
the next part is leave this one everything as it is you know we don't need to make any changes uh, click here as we want the column names in the first row and now go to columns all right and uh, leave this one as it is as well go to the advanced and here you can change the width of the columns so in uh, in my case uh, id uh, the uh, width for uh, id is 11 characters i can change it if i want it f name I have first name I can also change the first name F name to first name in my file and to the total width of uh, this column is 100 and the names are most mostly like they are not going to be 100 but somebody created a table with 100 worker 100 that's why it is uh, uh, giving us the 100 I can change this one to maybe 50 you know okay and then uh, hit enter go to the last name I can also change the name last name and then this one, I know that most of the time it's not more than 20, let's say, you know. I, but I'm, I, I'm not just ma making random assumptions. If I wanna really do it, I should take the max length of the, that column and see the, what is the max length in that column name. And uh, you know, give another five characters if you know, feel like uh, there could be names there longer. But uh, if uh, in this example, we don't have those long names here. So I'm just giving you, you know, uh, telling you how to change it. Uh, so it, it depends upon your data how long uh, the values are in the column. So in this case, uh, it is 100. I'm going to change this one to 50 as well. Okay, and I can change this one to the street address. Okay, so here I have phone number. If I want to, I don't want a phone number. I want phone and hash sign. I can use this one. This is 10. Um, uh, Width of this one is a 10 uh, characters, so that's fine. Okay, so we can preview the data. So ID, first name, last name, street address, and whatever it is shown, in, you know, other columns it will show here. All right, so we can uh, hit preview. Okay, and now override data in the file. If we are creating a file with the same name uh, over and over, and we want, and you know, every time refresh the data, we can leave this one as it is. Uh, in this case, what we are doing, we are going to create the file with the um, date time so every time uh, you know um, the f new file will be created so i um, we can leave this one here doesn't matter because every time a new time will be set uh, on execution and a new you know new file name will be generated so doesn't really matter go to mapping now if uh, the input columns are, have the exact same name like uh, output columns then yes they are going to match automatically but in our case we have changes so first name is going to the first name, F name, uh, last name is going to, L name is going to be last name, and our address is going to map to the street address, and phone number is going to uh, map to the phone ha um, hash or phone number. All right, hit OK. Now the next step is uh, run this, you know, SSIS package and see if the file is uh, generated. Okay. Okay, the four rows are read from the OLEDB source that's a SQL Server table inside, uh, and we have uh, written four records to the flat file. Let's go to the output folder and check if the file is there. Okay, the file is generated, and now we can see that a fixed width, um, you know, uh, file is uh, created. But the only thing is, this file does not have any date time with it. So what we want to do we want to create a file with the date time let's say at the end we want to add a date and then time every time the file will be created so if our package is running multiple times in a day so we want to create multiple files all right so i i can um, delete this file doesn't really matter i'm going to leave this one as it is for now and now let's come back stop our ssis package and add the date uh, time to it there are multiple ways to do it. I have uh, done by using uh, going to the uh, flat file connection manager properties and expressions, um, and then writing the expressions there. Okay, uh, I have created a variable and then wrote the variable to uh, create a date time uh, in that variable, and uh, I have done that part as well in uh, other videos. So if you guys want to take a look, you can go and say how to create the pipe delimited or tab delimited or comma delimited uh, flat files from a SQL Server table. Those are the videos you can take a look and uh, see how I, my, I have written the expression in a different way. In this one, what I want to introduce you, I want uh, to use 
the expression task here to create create the uh, values so first of all what i want i want to have a variable called folder path okay in this one uh, this is going to be string all right and the value of uh, this is uh, this is a path what we have to provide okay paste it here and uh, I'm putting backslash here so I don't have to write in expressions okay the next part is uh, we need uh, a date time right so we are creating a date time variable that's going to be string as well okay and now what I want to do I want to have the date time extracted by using a get date function in SSIS so I can click here and write the expressions but I wanna you know show you how to use the expression task here so I'm gonna bring the expression task above the data flow task okay and then write the expressions here so I can bring the variable here date time and then say equal and then uh, I have to get say get date okay if I will do that it is going to give me a second it is uh, throwing us an error all right so what we want to do we want to convert this one to the spring instead of date time um, sorry uh, get, yeah get date has the date and time so wstr and uh, you can provide the length of uh, in this case let's say i'm i'm, I'm not keep going to keep it 30 so we can see that so it is in false this is uh, 50 uh, let me see okay uh, when we are setting the values uh, to the um, to the variable here in the expression uh, builder uh, we are supposed to put actually only one equal to I, I have put the um, double equal that's why it was given us a, it was not evaluating the uh, expressions so I have a get date and time from uh, by using the get date function and I'm passing that or setting the value in the date time variable so I need only date and time and a time to the level of seconds you know uh, so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use the substring and then 1 comma 19 I know that this is going to extract me the date and the only time part so that's fine now I, if I wanna uh, remove these hyphens okay so I will use replace and then I will use a comma double quotes hyphen that's what we I'm going to replace with the, uh, let's say I don't want to replace with the underscore or anything I just want to replace with no space okay so I have just put the double quotes so now I have year day and, and year month and day here okay so I can put the underscore between the day date and time so let's uh, replace replace the space uh, what we have here so we have put double quote press one time space double quotes and now we wanna put double quote double quote no space so we are replacing the space with no space uh, you can do it but here sorry we are replacing with <clears throat> excuse me with underscore so we have date I have replaced the space with the underscore and I have colons that I want to uh, replace with the um, yeah, your choice but in my case like, let's say just replace it with the uh, no space you know all right so here so we have colons and no space all right okay so we have uh, uh, written our expressions uh, in expression builder and uh, we are setting the value of uh, date time by using these expressions so we can create one more variable and then uh, we can just uh, we can call it uh, full path okay in this in this variable what we are going to do we are going to 
uh, concatenate the value of uh, uh, the f uh, folder path and the date time and uh, com create a complete path for for the file so let's uh, hit uh, expression here I could have done the same thing I can bring another expression task here and uh, set the value for this one but uh, I just want to show you how we can use even expressions here if you're using SSI is 2005 or uh, 2008 or 2 you don't have expression tasks there so you can uh, you have to go to expressions and write them so you can press f4 you know if um, as you don't have this uh, button there so it will take you the properties and you can go to expressions there okay so here <clears throat> excuse me I want to use the full folder path okay plus the, the file name I want to uh, add the file name as a Hardcore, I can always create a variable and then use that variable. And uh, let's say the file name is fixed uh, with customer. Okay. And then underscore. And then what I want to do, let's uh, evaluate it. Okay, fine. Working it. And now we need to add the date time part to it. Okay. Okay, so evaluated, uh, but um, right now it's not showing us. That's fine, but it's not giving us error as well. So let's put uh, the date time because one, once it will execute it, uh, the expression uh, uh, task is going to run, and that that's where it is going to give us the value. So that's fine. Um, we can add for now and then run it and test it. So we want to add the txt at the end of the file extension. okay so he, here there would be a date and time right now and uh, it, it, it is empty because the expression test didn't run okay so it is evaluated correctly let's uh, hit okay and now with the last step of what we have to do we have to go to the file connection manage, manager and then click the properties and then use this variable okay so we go to the expressions go to properties and connection string okay in the connection string we are going to use the complete path that's going to be created so we are going to use full path okay so this is what it will be used every time a new uh, file name will be generated with the date and time hit okay and all right so let's test our package uh, hit start button okay so it completed successfully let's go back to the folder and see if the file is generated so we can see that the file is created with the date and time let's open it so we can see that the file has all those records and then the column names came correctly the data came correctly okay now let's go back and run one more time to make sure everything is working fine and it is creating a new file every time we run it because we are taking the name of the file to the level of uh, seconds so let's run it all right stop the debugging go to folder and yes a new file is created again with the new time uh, as uh, we have we are in the same day and, uh, and the minutes are changed the first one was 26 uh, you know and 50 seconds and now it is 27 and 27 seconds so every time you are going to run the package it is going to create a new file for you uh, thanks uh, very much for watching the video and uh, you guys can visit, visit us at sqla.blogspot.com for more uh, blog uh, for SSIS interview questions, DBA post and whatnot. Thanks.